read you a story from the uh, and a girl's a smart girl's guide to friendship troubles. This one's called Friendship Trials with Jasmine. Jasmine always felt like an outcast. Her family was, well, a little different from other families. They grew their own food, made their own clothes, and didn't own a TV. Jasmine's parents also had a lot of rules about what she could and couldn't eat. No soda, no candy, and no junk food. As a result, Jasmine had a hard time fitting in. She was thankful when she met Ellen, an open-minded girl who didn't make a fuss about Jasmine's family. Jasmine finally had the best friend she'd always wanted. Then along came Alex. What happened? Alex moved to the neighborhood for, from New York City. Ellen was assigned to be her bus buddy and helped her learn her way around the school. Alex was loud and funky and wore amazing clothes. And when Ellen and Jasmine were, got together, all Ellen could talk about was Alex. Before long, Jasmine found herself hating Alex. Alex was everything she was. Jasmine felt sure she was losing Ellen as a friend. How could she complete, compete when Alex had a, every color of glittery makeup possible and she herself wasn't even allowed to use chapstick? What she did. One day, Jasmine said sarcastically to Ellen, Why don't you go be with your new best friend? What's going on? Why don't you like her? asked Ellen. Jasmine started to say, because she eats the wrong kind of food, wears the wrong kind of clothes, and uses the wrong kind. But she stopped herself. How could she, who had been picked on for being different, hate someone for that very reason? She was ashamed of herself. She pulled it together, apologized to Alex, and promised Ellen she would try harder to get along. How it worked. In the beginning, in the beginning it didn't. Jasmine still felt a little bit left out. Ellen and Alex had inside jokes. Guess he had to be there. They'd say deep down, ja they'd say, deep down Jasmine knew Ellen cared about her, but it hurt. Out of fear and desperation, she decided to talk to Ellen and Alex again about, about how she was feeling. Both Ellen and Alex apologized and promised no more inside jokes. Uh, Jasmine and Alex agreed to wipe the slate clean and start over. Jasmine also decided to talk to her mom and dad. Her parents had no idea what had been going on and they wanted to help. They suggested that Jasmine spend more time with her writing and her music, which she loved. They also thought she should make an effort with, um, to do things with other friends. Jasmine agreed. She had depended on Ellen too much and she resolved to reach out to more other girls. In, in the end, Jasmine learned to appreciate Alex's style, and, three, and the three became good friends. Jasmine didn't lo lose Ella, Ellen's friendship, but she did have to share it. In return, she gained a friend in Alex and learned a lot about herself. The end. Thanks for watching.